Hey guys, Tuesday, 14. Hey, 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 sit down, please. Sit down, sit down. You're not starring in this film, sorry. Hey, hey, right there. Okay, Tuesday the 14th. We have a nice little workout for you today. I guess Colt has to be in this video. Sorry about that, because he's not very listening very good today. Anyways, so we got a nice 15 minute AMRAP today for you uh, in the workout. We're gonna go over a couple of the warm up movements that aren't uh, used often. Uh, just so you guys are doing them well, I'm not going to go over the actual full warm up. We're just going to go over movements that are a little bit tricky. So, the one movement we're going to do in the warm up is a Bulgarian split squat. So, Bulgarian split squat, we want your rear foot to be elevated. Uh, you guys have couches at home, chairs at home, um, benches at home, something that you can um, elevate your rear foot with. So, I always tell you guys to kind of balance on your foot first and then get your foot back onto your elevated position. So. You're just gonna sit back into that front heel a little bit, keeping your hips as square as possible. And notice Kristen's not going super deep. Uh, she could go deeper, but her hips would turn and it would make it a little bit too twisty of a movement. So keep the hips square. And again, this dog does not want to listen today. Um, so after those, the uh, Bulgarian split squats, we're gonna do hang power cleans. Right, so the hang power cleans can be done with, with, with whatever apparatus you guys have, um, sandbags, backpacks, dumbbells, kettlebells. Uh, you can even do it with a plate if you wanted to. If you guys have a, he a heavy med ball at home, it's a good thing to do it. So the hang position is just down between the knees in the knee area. So you come up to extension and kind of pull under the ball. Just kind of pop in, pull underneath really quickly. You don't want to be uh, curling this up. One thing I want to show you guys when she does this properly. Hold up, hold up. Point the, uh, the number out. So you can see the, the, the number 16 here on the ball. When this is done properly, She'll keep that number pointing forward. She's not turning the ball up. So when she does it wrong, she'll turn and kind of curl it and you lose sight of that 16. So when you guys are practicing those, uh, those cleans with the ball, that's a really good focal point for you to maintain a good technique because you want to rotate with the ball, not rotate the ball. The workout itself, 15 minute air rep, Um, we have 60 double unders. So you guys know double unders, you should be doing and practicing them. If you have a rope, if not, get a rope. So two revolutions for one jump, simple. Um, the other one we can do instead of those is 40 mountain climbers. So mountain climbers kind of give you the same effect. You're kind of bringing your knees up quickly and moving through it. Uh, I prefer double unders. So if you guys aren't good at double unders yet or you don't have a rope, I would get a rope to avoid doing 40 mountain climbers. <laughs> Next movement is uh, 15 sumo deadlift high pulls. So whatever apparatus you guys are gonna decide to use, Chris is gonna go back to the ball for a second here. So she's got a nice wide base, chest is up, back's flat, shins are vertical. She's gonna stand tall, pull the elbows up. So the hips extend to get the ball moving and then the elbows just kind of finish. You guys don't wanna muscle it up and you don't wanna hang up top for a long time. Okay, so the dumbbell is a little awkward um, than a normal Kettlebell with the handles. You can do it to one or two ways, I think. You guys can grab onto the handles, the actual handle itself, um, and go through your movement. It's a little weird because you don't have much hand on it. So you're just standing tall quickly and pulling the elbows up, reach it back down, maintain that flat back. Or I think you can go on the outside of the, the, the head and the bells here and just kind of come up with a little elbow high. You don't have to really pull it too high with that one. It's going to be a little more awkward to do so. Um, Chris is going to show you what it looks like with the bag. So she's going with the handle. That's one of the versions you guys can do with the bags from the handle. Or you can actually grab the bag itself and get a little grip work as well. And squeeze onto it, get up and up and down with that. Okay, next move is sit up, simple stuff. You guys can do it um, the basic way we normally do it, butterfly sit ups, feet together flat, just reaching up, touching somewhere in front of your foot, on the foot, have a point that you're getting to each time. Keeping your heels tucked in uh, tight to your butt as you can. Um, if you want to vary, if you want a variation of these, we can we can do those uh, during the training. So, uh, the goal for this workout is to complete four to five rounds. Um, if you're doing double unders and you're an, an advanced athlete, you should be doing three plus rounds, uh, about three to four minutes per round. So, we're trying to continually have a consistent time throughout the workout uh, within your split. So, if you're 15 minute AMRAP and you're doing three minute rounds, we want to maintain that that tempo. Uh, and if Best case scenario, you actually increase the uh, the efficiency of that split time. So I need your time to go down. So let us know what you guys do. Thanks.